Hey, <laughs> what's going on guys? I am George Atchampong and I'm a thought leader in the area of finance. And finance for some people can be like a boring and overwhelming topic. So when I speak, when I do content, I try to keep it engaging, I try to keep it entertaining, and I try to keep it enlightening. So I wanted to hop on here really quick to say if you've ever wanted a dynamic speaker to come to your event, your workshop, your company, Whatever the case may be, I'm your guy. So check out some clips from my previous speaking engagements, some of the content that I've created. And if you like it, book me to speak and I would love to be at your next event experience or to collaborate in any capacity that you see fit. See you soon. What's up y'all? We are here at the Youth Empowerment Summit talking to seventh through 12th graders about financial literacy, everything from understanding student loans, to paying off debt, understand, say, understanding how to save, and all those key fundamental things that we didn't learn when we were in school. So stay tuned. I hope you like what we got from you guys. Let's go back to the school example. Whatever you do, you're doing it for you. You're not doing it to impress your friends. You're not doing it to get likes on IG. You're doing it because this is what you want to do. Okay. So back one more time, how much do the shoes cost? How much do the shoes cost? No, they cost 22 hours of his life. What's up guys? We're about to do a talk on how to monetize your influence leveraging social media. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about seven ways to monetize yourself online, leveraging your brand so that you can quantify your worth. Stay tuned. You will never help the people you wanna help and change the world if they don't know you exist. They won't know you exist if you don't get their attention. You won't get their attention unless you produce quality and valuable content. You won't keep their attention unless that content is quality, valuable, and consistent over long periods of time. With time builds credibility, with credibility comes trust, with trust comes influence, and with influence, you can change the world. Thank you. All right, guys, we are literally pulling up to a panel discussion about wealth building for millennials. Uh, it's gonna be a great time sharing some tips, tricks, and nuggets on how you can start building wealth today as a young millennial. Stay tuned. Uh, last year, or actually the end of 2017, I launched a movement to help 100,000 people of color invest their first $1,000, uh, effectively creating $100 million of new wealth in the African American community. So. Yourself, you can take a percentage and invest in yourself and have a much greater outcome because you own 100% of it, right? So start with personal development, start with investing yourself. Just wrapped up a great panel discussion on how millennials can build wealth today. Was able to actually gift a freshman in college all of my learning modules so she can start shifting her mindset on what it means to build wealth early on in her life. Doesn't it suck when you have that really great business idea, but you can't figure out how to monetize it, you're still a struggling entrepreneur? We just had a great talk here at Avid Exchange on behalf of Black Tech Charlotte, helping entrepreneurs build better businesses in 2018. You gotta have a high income skill set, you gotta know how to build a scalable business, and you gotta invest in high return assets. So watch the full video for all the negative. So vitamins are good for you in theory, right? Your mom told you to take them when you were a kid, you maybe even had the chewable gummies. But there's no real incentive to take a vitamin because you don't really know what the benefit is today. You're just told and you hope that it's gonna provide you some benefit in the future. Versus if you break your hand, you'll do whatever to try to alleviate that pain. So when you're trying to position your product in the marketplace, my advice to you is to come out with a painkiller first versus a vitamin. A painkiller, somebody will write a blank check for. A painkiller is something that people want to alleviate that pain for in the present, immediately. So stop trying to sell people vitamins, figure out what their pain point is, and you'll have a much higher probability of success.